everyone. I'm, I'm Rick Edwards. I'm the chief of police for the great city of Richmond. Today we're out here on a auspicious occasion for the groundbreaking of the new first precinct. I can tell you in, in 2000, the year 2000, I was field training up there on Church Hill and there was rain coming through the building back then. And they said, don't worry, we're going to be getting a new building any, any, any month now. <laughs> and, and you can see I have some first precinct officers behind you and, and they're just waiting to see the, the actual building start coming up. So but I can tell you that, that it's going to be seeing, going to be believing, and we're so excited. And we, we have to thank the city administration, certainly city council, and, and, and Mayor Stoney for making this dream a reality so that our officers can, live, can work in a modern police facility. So it's going to be right on this footprint right here, and we're just so excited. So at this time, I'll introduce Mayor Stoney. Thank you. Guys, give a round of applause for our police chief again, uh, Chief Edwards. Chief Edwards, I want to thank you uh, real quick for your exemplary leadership and dedication, ensuring that we have a safe city here in Virginia's capital. Uh, under Chief Edwards' guidance, the, the Richmond Police Department has made significant strides, I think, uh, in enhancing public safety, fostering community engagement and relations, and implementing effective uh, crime prevention strategies to ensure that every single community, no matter the zip code or the demographic that lives there, has a safe community. So give it up for the chief one more time. I'm also joined today by a number of partners, friends. I won't even say aunties as well. Ellen Roberts is with us today, who represents the 6th District. <laughs> Dr. Cynthia Newbill's with us, who represents the 7th District. Nicole Jones, who represents the 9th District. And the chairwoman of the Public Safety Committee, Reva Trammell's with us as well, representing the 8th District. I see Stephen Willoughby's with us as well, with the Department of Emergency Communications and Emergency Management. Stephen, where you are? Oh, okay. And then the Chief Administrative Officer decided to join us this this afternoon, Lincoln Saunders is with us. We got great friends here from uh, the Richmond Police Department. I think I saw Sheriff Antoinette Ev uh, Irving walk over as well. Thank you, Sheriff. We are essentially right here in your uh, front yard, I guess you would say. Folks, uh, from day one, we have been focused on building one Richmond. And I'm proud to be here today for another One Richmond Project. Yesterday, we were off of Richmond Highway uh, for the groundbreaking of uh, Fire Station Number 21, which will be coming online here in a few years as well. And we talked yesterday about the need to invest in communities all over the city of Richmond, East End, South Side, North Side, and the West End. Uh, today, we're celebrating a, uh, as the chief basically has stated, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we've been focused on upgrading infrastructure all over the city, investing in our roads, paving new roads, uh, repairing sidewalks, repairing alleys, more investments in parks, more community centers as well, and adding this police precinct station is just one of the many projects that we've been focused on bringing to our people. Uh, the new precinct uh, will be far better than the current precinct station. I've been to the current one over off of 25th and Q, and it's long overdue. When I became mayor, uh, I was on a tour of all the precincts, and someone took me to the, the one over 25th and Q and said, uh, can you fix this? And I'll admit I was shocked that in 2017, that we had a facility like this. And you fast forward to 2024, we still have a facility like that. Well, after today, we will be on track to a new facility right here in the East End for the Richmond Police Department. So the new precinct, let's talk about that. The new precinct will provide a physical space that is designed to meet the evolving needs of law enforcement in the 21st century. The current space is from a bygone era of policing. 
And it's time that we meet our police officers where they are here in the 21st century. This uh, state-of-the-art facility will be equipped with the latest technology and resources that will enable officers to better coordinate their efforts, gather and analyze data more effectively, and respond to emergencies with great efficiency. Moreover, the moving of this precinct will help to enhance and foster a sense of security and reassurances among residents all over the sixth district. By having a dedicated precinct in their community, residents will have easier access to law enforcement, whether they need to report a crime, seek assistance, or engage with officers on community activities or concerns. Breaking ground at this new first precinct police station is a significant step for our city. I think it's no longer acceptable to continue to kick the can down the road. And I think the members of city council have joined the administration in investing in the future of Richmond. When we see a problem, we must fix that problem and stop deferring maintenance to the next administration and the next administration and the next administration. So I'm grateful for the partnership of my friends on the Richmond City Council for not just investing in the facilities, but also investing into the officers who do the job. If we expect our officers to show up to work every day and give us their 1,000% and work their hearts out for us, well, we damn sure should provide them the facilities to, with them to do that. Yes, they are out in our communities, but it's a place they must go to to begin their shifts, to begin their time on the clock. And I think a new facility is befitting of what I believe is the best police department in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So with that, to add a few words to my comments, is my auntie and the representative of the sixth council district, Ellen Robertson. My favorite nephew. <laughs> Couldn't do it without you, brother. Good e evening, afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, uh, giving thanks to God for this beautiful day that he's provided us and for the great city of Richmond. Uh, certainly, Mayor Stoney, my colleagues on council, our partners, my partners, my friends, my sisters. Um, Chief, your leadership and guidance that you have provided, um, you're always there getting the job done as it needs to be done, but always with a heart of passion, and we're grateful for that. And of course, Lincoln, you know, you, you the guy that takes all the beating all the days of the, of the day, so, you know, you're still standing strong. You're a good guy, I guess. 